In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying polynomials with algebra tiles. Now let's go back to something that you would know already, and that is how to find the area of a rectangle. So let's say the length of this rectangle is 10 centimeters, and the width of it is 5 centimeters. Well, we know that to find the area of a rectangle, it's length times width. And so if I want to find out what the area is, I would go 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters, and the answer to 10 times 5 is the area of this rectangle, which is 50 centimeters. Well, we can do the same thing with polynomials. If I knew that this was x plus 2, and let's say this was x plus 1, then x plus 2 times x plus 1, so length times width, should equal the area of this rectangle. So x plus 2, length times width, should be the area of this rectangle. So x plus 2 times x plus 1, all I need to do is find out what the area of that rectangle would be. And this is where algebra tiles are going to come into play. So let's take a look at algebra tiles because they will help us to find the area of this rectangle, which will be x plus 2 times x plus 1. So just a review of what algebra tiles are. Remember these green squares here, these ones here, these are x, x squares. And these tiles here are x's. And these tiles here are 1's. They represent the number 1 or the unit 1. So what I'm going to have to do is represent x plus 2. So there's x plus 2 on the bottom. And x plus 1 along the side. So this is my... My length was x plus 2, and my width is x plus 1. So if I want to know what x plus 2 times x plus 1 is, then I simply need to find the area of this rectangle. And so I'm going to slide this into here. That will fill up where those green squares were. And then I'll need a, an x tile to fill that up. An X tile to fill that side up. Looks like I need another X tile here. So let's slide that in there. And I haven't quite finished my area yet, so I need two of these. So I would get, as my area, Looks like I have an x squared plus 3x's plus 2. So I have an x squared, I have 1, 2, 3x's, and plus 2. So x plus 2 times x plus 1 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. That's the area of that rectangle with a length of x plus 2 and a width of x plus 1. Let's consider another example. In this example here, we're going to do find out what the area of x minus 3 times 2x plus 1 is. So remember, here's, here's x minus 3. So when, when they're negative, we flip them upside down, so they're showing the white sides. Here's an x squared. If I turn it over... I get a minus x squared. The white side represents the negatives. So if I want to find x minus 3 times 2x plus 1, then I need to find the area represented uh, by the product of these two polynomials. And so I'm going to simply start filling in my rectangle. You see I'm going to need an x squared there, and I'm going to need another, another x squared here. So there's 2x squares, and then I'm going to need a bunch of these. Now this is 
a negative 1 times an x. So this is going to be a negative x and a positive x times a negative x is a negative x. Here's another positive times a negative and a positive times a negative positive times a negative positive times a negative and here I have a positive x times a positive 1 so that would be a positive x and here I have 1 times minus 1 those are negative ones. So let's finish filling in our rectangle. Here we go. So x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. I would ha I would need to have 2x squares because those are like terms. And then I have some x's here. I have minus 6x's plus 1x. So just on the side here, negative 6x plus 1x, well, that should equal negative 5x. And then I have a negative 3 for my 1s here. So like terms were 2x squares, minus 6x's plus 1x was negative 5x's, and then I just have minus 3 for my units. So x minus 3 times 2x plus 1 would equal 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. We'll look at one more uh, example with our algebra tiles. This time we're going to find 2x minus 1 times minus x minus 1. So I've got 2x, positive 2x minus 1, and here I have negative x minus 1. So we're going to find the area here, and I have a positive x and a negative x. Positive times a negative is a negative, so I'm going to have a negative x squared, and I'm going to need another one over here because I have a another positive x times a negative x. Now I'm going to fill the top parts up here. So this is a positive 1, sorry, I, this is a negative 1 times a positive x, so a negative times a positive is a negative, and in this little corner here, I have a negative 1 times a positive x. That will be a negative x. And over here, I have a negative 1 times a negative x. So a negative times a negative will be a positive. And then finally, in the top corner, this would be a negative 1 times a negative 1, which is a positive 1. So I've used my algebra tiles to calculate my area. Now let's see what we've got. In here we have 2x squares. We have negative 2x's. So here's our 2x, negative 2x, sorry. We have our negative 2x squares. Negative x squared, negative x squared. We've got negative 2 of those. We have negative 2x's. But we also have a positive x over here. We've got positive 1x. And then in the top corner, we have a positive 1. So we'll have negative 2x squares. The negative 2x plus the 1x means we only have minus 1x because these two would cancel out. They're opposites. And then we have plus 1 at the, at the end for our units. So 2x minus 1 times negative x minus 1 is negative 2x squared minus 1x plus 1. And really, we don't need to write the, the minus 1 as a coefficient, coefficient. We could just write that as minus x plus 1. So that's how we multiply polynomials uh, with algebra tiles.